Welcome back to our final segment here today, and it's the segment that I have really been looking forward to sharing with you. Uh, I grew up being a fan of Memphis wrestling. When I was a teenager, on through uh, a young adult, uh, Memphis wrestling, which went by several different names back then, uh, they had a weekly trek of places that they would go. Uh, one night of the week, they would be in Nashville, Tennessee, and another week, night of the week, Louisville, Kentucky. Another night, Evansville, Indiana. Of course, another night, Memphis itself. There were times when they were in Tupelo, Mississippi, and all different kinds of places. And, and their studio show, I believe it was an hour. You know, I'm talking a long time ago. I'm talking about the late 1970s. So for you young people, pay attention because this isn't going to be something that just pops into the top of your head. But their studio show was actually set up to kind of give a recap of what happened in the previous week's segments of the tour and to set up the coming week's events. And so you could expect anything in the in the studio segment. That that was it wasn't done live, but I mean it was their version of raw or nitro or you know whatever the flagship is. And, and so they would set up what was going to happen and, and then that week them those storylines took place at all the individual different sites that they went to. And so this one that we're going to set up tonight was the original concession stand brawl match. And <laughs> you look back at this and it was amazing. I've got uh, an audio that we're going to play here at the end that uh, just touches on how good this was. But go onto YouTube and put uh, Concession Stand Brawl. Uh, make sure you get the one that has these four wrestlers, Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee, against Wayne Ferris, who later became the Honky Tonk Man, and Larry Lathan, later Latham, Larry Latham, I'm sorry, who later became Moondog Spot. Uh, because there, there are several different concession stand matches, but this was the first, this was the best. And I want to read to you from jimcornette.com. Uh, the following is all Jim's words. In Tupelo, Jerry Jarrett booked, booked his two top names, Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee, to defend the Southern Tag Team title against two preliminary wrestlers. And the backstory on this is there was some issues of people that had left for the promotion and so Jarrett is trying to regroup and, and get things going here. So against two prelim wrestlers who had been teaming the previous two weeks, and that was Wayne Ferris, later Honky Tonk Man, and Larry Latham, later Moondog Spot. In a wild match where everyone bled and the crowd of 300 or so was on their feet, Ferris and Latham scored an upset by screwing Lawler and Dundee and winning the belts. Lawler and Dundee, pissed off, attacked the heels after the match, and they spilled out of the ring and fought down the aisle. Lance Russell was in the crow's nest of the arena with a TV camera allegedly shooting for the B-Show that featured arena matches from all around the area, and they signed off and the camera faded to black. So, okay, this is where the audio that I've... Um, captured at the end comes in. The wrestling match is over and you can get that. That'll go along with the, um, the concession stand brawl. It's I think the whole thing about nine minutes, uh, you'll see the end of the match and it was a good match, especially, uh, with late 1970s technology. You know, we're, we're not, in the era of technology that we are today. So as the audio will pick up and you'll hear it in just a few minutes, uh, the show had just gone off the air. It went black. And then uh, you hear 
Lance Russell. Uh, and he's allegedly shooting again for the B show. Uh, they signed off. The camera faded to black. The audio, however, was still up. And within 10 seconds, you hear Lance yell to cameraman Randy West, Hey, Randy, there's a hell of a fight going on down here. The video came back up, and you see the camera and moving along down the back stairs where Lance, who is carrying the light pole, uh, so that they can get good shot of the, the video, shown the spotlight on all four men in the concession stand of the Tupelo Sports Arena. A dump of a place with plywood walls, and they're literally destroying the place. Stiff punches and kicks, chairs, tables, cookie sheets, brooms, mops, Everything you would expect to find in a concession stand was used along with some of the most realistic brawling you will ever see. The two teams beat the bejesus out of each other with Lance calling the action. Jarrett, that being Jerry Jarrett, who, yes, that is Jeff's dad, trying to break up the brawl, was beaten down and had his street clothes ripped off Finally, the combatants were hustled out by security and wrestlers, and the stand was completely destroyed, and what was left was covered in blood and mustard, courtesy of a gallon mustard jug that Lawler had chucked at Latham that broke against the wall in a million pieces. The next morning on Memphis TV, the entire tape was shown unedited and became the talk of the town's wrestling fans. In an area noted for wild matches, no one had ever seen anything like this. The following week, it had become such a sensation, it was shown again in its entirety, as well as airing on the week, one-week tape delay in the other markets, Louisville, Nashville, Evansville, and Lexington. I'm, I skipped Lexington earlier. Uh, Kenny Bolin and I went everywhere, repeating Lance's call of the action. Mustard everywhere! is one of the things Lance said. And this incident actually convinced me, that being Jim Cornette, convinced me to buy one of those newfangled inventions called a VCR. Folks, I hope you like things like the old Memphis wrestling. Uh, if you don't and you're not interested in hearing about them, this probably ain't going to be the podcast for you because this is what we're going to do. We're going to look at old stuff. You know, just having a recap of professional wrestling that's our wrestling entertainment or just entertainment is not going to be what we do. We're going to look at things like this. We're going to talk with people that lived through things like this. And I am so excited. That brawl was, it was amazing. Go look the video up. Go Listen to just this audio that I'm going to play here in just a second. I want to thank you for being with us. The audio clip will take us out. God bless you. And uh, thanks for being with us here at the official Wrestling News Blog Podcast. <laughs> 